Hey Papper people, it is me, Jason, your favorite and thickest polysomnographic technologist, registered of course. I finally finished using the, the WellU O2 ring, and I'm gonna tell you what, I do like it, but let's get into the nitty gritty of it, of whether you actually need it or not. We're gonna go through some pros and some cons. So this thing, it records the pulse rate and it records your SpO2 data all throughout the night. That is your blood oxygen levels. You can use it while you're awake, you can use it while you're asleep, doesn't really matter. Now it also comes with a slick app, basically shows you everything all throughout the night. You can zoom in on it to your heart's content, you can slide it around. There's an application I'll be showing you from their own website that you can download and look at all this data and print it out into a nice report, take it into your doctor, or you can just show it to them on your phone. Now, as far as this is concerned, it records exactly what it says it's gonna record, and there's ways that you can look at that data very easily. I'll show this to you in a second. But more or less, the thing I hate about SpO2 sensors is that they usually clamp onto your finger and it kind of hurts throughout the night. This is easy. You just throw it on any of your fingers. The way the sizing is, is it'll, it'll adjust appropriately. It buzzes and it turns on. It even has the time on there. And then it'll give you a readout of what it's doing all throughout the night. If for some reason this does start to, to annoy you at night, you can just switch it to another finger. Uh, no problem at all. But the question remains, is it useful? These things cost anywhere from 150 bucks to 180 bucks. I'll show you where you can get those later, but is that cost, is that worth it to you to get SpO2 data throughout the night or day and pulse rate data throughout the day? I'll show you where this can be helpful and why it might not be helpful at all. Now I apologize, now I apologize. This is gonna, video is gonna have to get into the weeds. I'm gonna be heavily relying on Oscar. I'll show you very briefly how to use this thing and import data. Now just keep in mind the way I'm looking at this, I'm looking at it through the eyes of a poor kid. Cost benefit analysis, is it worth it? What are you getting out of it for the money that you're gonna spend on it? Let's go ahead and get started. So we're trying to consider value. Is there value in having an O2 ring? What are we trying to get out of it? So what actually happened right here when my pulse rate decreased? My SpO2 also dropped, but what happened with that pulse rate increasing? I think I know what happened. I must have been looking at the sponsor of this video and this channel, CPAPsupplies.com. That's right. That was a smooth transition. If you have not taken a look at CPAPsupplies.com, you gotta do it right now. You can save 15% off your next order if you sign up for this newsletter, or you can just use discount code LEFTY20. Let me show you how. Let's very quickly go into the parts section. In here, you will find some obscure items, items you really didn't even know you were looking for. In here, comfort accessories. We have, if we go to the second page, you'll see this. You have the CPAPology Sleep Noodle Positional Therapy Aid. Now, this thing probably doesn't get a lot of loving, but I'll tell you what, this thing can actually be extremely important if you find that you are highly positional with your CPAP needs. Some people need eight centimeters of water pressure on their side, but if you move to your back, all of a sudden you need 14 centimeters of water pressure, and you're like, I ain't down with that. Now you can use the sleep noodle, help yourself remain on your side, and let's see if we can get this for a sweet deal. We're gonna select medium, we're gonna add it to our cart, we're gonna view our cart. Very simple so far. Now let's go ahead and apply a discount code because we don't wanna pay $44.95. We put lefty 20, apply the discount, and just like that we save nine bucks and instead we're paying 35.96. Now you can use this discount code with any mask that they have available. Many of these you can get without a prescription. So head on over to the sponsor of this channel, the sponsor of this video, cpapsupplies.com. By the way, if you find an item that CPAP Supplies carries on another website for less, you just let them know and they'll make it right. Hey guys, do me a solid and help support the sponsor of this channel and this video, cpapsupplies.com. Okay, I, I'm gonna be honest. I, let, let's actually find out what happened here. I've already imported the O2 ring data into my phone. It's super easy. You literally turn it on, this on, and then on this you say, what does it want to connect to? And then it does an automatic import. Super easy, could not be easier. To get it into this app, it's actually a little bit different. So to get this app, I went to wellu.com. There's a download section and you just download it from there. It's actually quite simple. So I'm gonna take this ring. You do have to have the O2 ring turned on. So now you can see right here, I'm just gonna to go to connect. It's gonna ask me pretty much the same thing. What do you want to connect to? 
I forgot. I'm supposed to have my app turned off. So I'm gonna turn that guy off because they don't share apparently. Now this is on. I'm gonna close this guy out. I'm gonna connect again. And this time it should actually show up. So there we go. Now we have the O2 ring. We just select that, connect to it. Go ahead and select the download button. And you can see right here, it's downloading all the data from May the 5th. Okay, all done. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And you can see exactly what we already saw. Exact same data was from my phone app, but you can get it in actual sleep report. They call it a sleep report. It's not a sleep report. It doesn't tell you anything about whether you're awake or asleep. Uh, it just This provides you something that you can print out and take into your doctor's office if you feel that's something that's gonna be helpful. It's honestly not too helpful. What is helpful is importing this into Oscar. Now we just opened up a whole new can of worms. Let's check out Oscar. Where can you get it? Let's go to sleepfiles.com forward slash Oscar. And right here you can download Oscar. Super easy, you just pick what, what, what thing you got and then you have Oscar. Okay, let's go ahead and go to my Oscar since I already have it. Here is Oscar. Now. I know we're kind of going around and about here, but this all ties in to using the O2 ring. We want to view it in Oscar with some other meaningful data. This is the SD card for my CPAP machine. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my computer right now. You're gonna see how easy it is to import the data. Okay, I'm gonna to go to import. It's gonna say, choose a folder. It already recognizes it. Yeah, it's that smart. It's gonna take just a hot second to do. I can go into daily and look at May the 5th. Scratch that, May the 4th. And that's concerning because I believe this is on May the 5th. But I have all this data. Oh, it looks like I went to bed past midnight. Okay, hopefully that's good. Um, this is all my data from the night. This is my breathing. If we were to zoom in on this, every breath I took throughout the night, you can also see the leak rate of myself all throughout the night. Very, very helpful information. I don't have SpO2 data on here though. What's up with that? So we're gonna go back to the O2 screen, the O2 Insight Pro. We're gonna disconnect that. I'm actually gonna close out of this because we don't want that anymore. And now on this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the app again. I'm gonna to connect to the O2 device. And now I'm going to click on May 5th right here. I'm gonna to go to the share button and I'm gonna go share as binary. Now this is only for the Mac only for the Mac, nothing else. So now on my computer, you can see it just popped up. AirDrop, I received that from Jason's phone. I go into download and this is a file right here. Now I can't do anything with that right here, right now. What I have to do is go into uh, data. I go into import well you data. Then I'm gonna select the actual day. I'm gonna open this up. And did you see that? It just imported all the SPO2 data right here. So I also have pulse rate. Guys, to be honest, I don't know how to get the O2 data from this ring into Oscar if you have an Android phone. Um, look, some people can't afford an Apple phone. I understand that. Some people are really, really poor. <laughs> so here's what I found for you guys. You just go to this website that really rolls off the tongue, apneaboard.com forward slash wiki forward slash index.php.wellu underscore viatom underscore file underscore import hashtag import underscore the underscore download. Probably more stuff. If you go here, it actually tells you at the very bottom how to import the downloaded sessions into Oscar. It has step-by-step -step directions. That's how I figured out how to do it with the iPhone. I'm not that smart. I just read directions. <laughs> Let's go ahead and minimize these just a snidge. Now in the original video I did with this, uh, I had a problem where the times were not synced up appropriately. So what I did is in the app, and when I say the app, I meant the O2 Insight app from WellU, I went in there and I synced up the data to match the time on my computer. And then I went in and I synced up my CPAP machine to match the time on my computer. So hopefully all the times match up because there was quite a delay last time. Okay. so. What exactly happened here during this SPO2 drop? Man, that drop sure looks bad. Well, you know what it looks like? Looks like I was up ping. That's all it was. I was ping. So not a lot of useful information in there for me, but I do know that when I'm doing pap therapy analysis with people, 
axgsleepdiagnostics.com. If you want one, check it out there. There's often very good explanations for SpO2 drops. People are awake, people are moving around, people use the restroom, stuff like that happens all the time. Okay, let's find something that actually does matter in terms of why this guy, the O2 ring, why would this be helpful? Check this out. Now this right here is data from a patient that I was doing a pap therapy analysis with. We were adjusting pressures and we actually got his therapy to be pretty good. It looks pretty nice throughout most of the night. We have a good five, six hours of pretty consolidated sleep. Now the concern was he's using this O2 ring and you can see down here we have the SpO2 data to go along with that. Now look at this, these little segments right in here we have this whole segment. Now what's happening in this segment is he is having SpO2 desaturations. We see one right there, we see another cluster right here, and we see another cluster right here. Now, without getting too into the weeds, I'm gonna tell you what, that's REM sleep. Now during REM sleep, he was having SpO2 desaturations, and some of these were dropping down to 89%. Now there were no arousals associated with this, during non-REM sleep, his breathing pattern was perfectly straight and flat. All this non-REM, non-REM, nice and straight and flat. During REM sleep, you're gonna see natural decreases in your airflow. It's just, the way, it's just the way it is when you breathe during REM sleep. With this guy, it was resulting in decreases in airflow that were causing blood oxygen desaturations without arousals. That's the important part. Sleeping perfectly fly, fine without arousals. So what we found is basically let's not worry about it. You're not dropping below the threshold that's known as being bad, which is 89%. He was going right to that, but he was staying asleep. Pressure's higher than that, extremely uncomfortable. So you can use the O2 ring to find out that kind of data and see actually what, what's going on, what's causing these desaturations. Do we need to actually increase the pressure? Do we need to not worry about it or something else? So using this by itself, not real helpful, but within the confines of Oscar, super helpful. You, you can couple it up with other data points and make sense of it. So in that aspect, the O2 ring really does make a lot of sense. It really does help out if that's something that you're interested in. All right, let's head back to my data again. Now in my data, look at this, I see the pulse rate. The pulse rate all of a sudden starts spiking right here and it starts spiking right here. Hmm, interesting. I think I know why, and I'm not gonna tell you. Sign up for an AXG sleep diagnostics pap therapy analysis, <laughs> jerk. So right here, pulse rate is increasing and I can tell you what, uh, yep, yep, yep. It's going up in a, in a natural sort of way. Now, have you decided that the O2 ring is something that you want to get? Hold on, hold on. We're going to share that with you. Uh, if you want to get it, head on over to amazon.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below where you can get it. All these different thingies down here. So these are all well you, the same thing I'm, I'm trying out and I used. Looks like you can get it for as low as 152 bucks. If you want to use it to try to differentiate between hypopneas and obstructive apneas and rheas and stuff like that and see what's actually going on in your sleep, perfect. If 150 bucks is good for you, wonderful. Now, let me tell you, I'm going to get a little cut of that if you use my affiliate link that, like I said, I'm going to leave down below. Um, but let's pepper this with some sage advice and perhaps a warning. Now, this is from someone that actually uses the O2 ring. Uh, this is actually from the guy whose data I just shared with you. So Jason, just saw your YouTube presentation on the Well U02 ring. I did own one and it was defective. One night the readings and stuff were broken up. The device would keep resetting. Sometimes it would register 20 minutes, next time three hours and who knows. I even held still and it would reset. There's a maximum of four events in the memory which might lop off the previous event the same night. Seems there are many others with the same issues. Basically, he had a problem with it. He thought the company sucked. Um, didn't find a lot of support. There's one dude that he said seemed like they were the support system in the US. Um, other than that, not much help. So he ended up getting the Well You Check Me O2 Max. Eventually what he did in buying it through Amazon is Amazon refunded his money after three to four months because he couldn't get the company to respond. So if you buy it through Amazon, you seems like you always have some recourse available to you. So that's certainly a positive. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. I know it was long, I know it was in the weeds. If you wanna have a pap therapy analysis with me, one-on-one -on -one session, uh, check out axgsleepdiagnostics.com. If you would like to support this channel and the stuff that we do, look, I don't do little five-minute videos with 
little cheese butt information. We like to do big deep dives. We're trying to help you out here. All this information is free. If you wanna help the channel out, you can check the links in the description box down below. You can also check the comment that I pinned up at the top for ways you can help this channel out. I really appreciate you guys watching and sharing this video. Thanks a lot, have a great night, bye-bye. Why does your mask smell like my feet? Pick up some Mask Bright today. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks buddy to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Matthew Lilly, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, Buddy Doris, Patricia Espalong, Ray Troutman, Sarvesh Joshi, and Stuart Hetherington, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks buddy for you guys.